Hello friends, this is Sam Cheney reporting for WeaponizingNews.com. Today is May 9, 2017, and of course, President Donald Trump fired James Comey, the head of the FBI. Drudge Report, you're fired. Of course, Trump's famous for firing people on his hit television show, The Apprentice. Trump cans Comey, need new leadership. Kellyanne lost confidence. MAG, biggest gamble yet. Ten scandals on Director's Watch, FBI Chaos, DC Drama, Mook This Terrifies Me, Krauthammer Inexplicable, Dems Want Emergency Hearings, Durbin Grave Constitutional Issues, Comey Learned of Firing as He Addressed FBI Employees in LA, TV Screens in Background Flash News, He Thought It Was a Joke, FBI Resisted Investigating Leaks. Let's go now to some of these headlines and break it down a little bit further. Out of Zero Hedge, Trump, Trump throws his base some red meat, fires Comey. In this breakdown of it, they say that this is a nothing burger and a distraction because Trump may be sending 5,000 or more U.S. military troops back into Afghanistan, the longest ever war that the United States has been involved in. So is this a big distraction from that? Possibly. All the Democrats are freaking out. Elijah Cummings wants emergency hearings over Comey firing. And these are the same Democrats that wanted Comey fired when he came out saying they had new evidence in October, the October surprise that Comey laid on Hillary Clinton during the election. But if you remember, he had to do something because Bill Clinton and then Attorney General Loretta Lynch met on an airplane in Arizona to talk about their grandchildren. But he laid out a list of charges against Hillary Clinton for espionage, all the crimes she committed with her private servers, gave immunity to her staff, laid out a list of crimes that she had committed and then said that he recommended no indictment or no prosecutor would indict. So, I mean, this guy is just too much. Clinton campaign team denounces Comey ouster. Could this mean that the Justice Department and the FBI are going to go after Hillary Clinton now again? I mean, which they probably should be. Robbie Mook, Hillary Clinton campaign manager, Twilight Zone, I was as disappointed and frustrated as anyone at how the email investigation was handled, but this terrifies me. It should. Brian Fallon, spokesman for the Clinton campaign. This is this is appropriate sentiment, but DOJ should have awaited IG probe on Comey. Now it just smells like Russian cover-up. Uh, Hillary Clinton's vice presidential running mate, Trump firing Comey, shows how frightened the admin is over Russia investigation. Where Comey's continually said there is no evidence. Um, so how's, how, I just don't understand how firing Comey is going to cover up the Russian investigation where there is no evidence. Makes no sense. Complete and utter nonsense. Continuing here, of course, Trump fires FBI Director Comey. Trump fires Comey, FBI director, after he misled the Senate on Huma, Huma Abedin's emails to Anthony Weiner. I mean, Huma Abedin, aide of Hillary Clinton, gave classified emails to her pedophile, uh, underage sexting husband, Anthony Weiner, and that's clearly illegal. But Comey said, hey, we're not going to do anything about it. Continuing, but nation's top cop thought it was a prank and laughed. Until he found out it was true. And so yeah. He saw it on television screens. At the LA FBI offices. And thought they were pranking him. But nope. Sorry to say. It is true. You're fired James Comey. New acting FBI director is Andrew McCabe. And he too is caught in. The toxic impact of Clinton. As his political wife got cash from a Hillary ally and his wife McCabe's wife ran for Senate lost 
Got big donations from the Democrat Party. So there's conflicts of interest there as well. So let's look for the acting director, Andrew McCabe, to also be removed from duty. Continuing. Trump fires FBI director, setting off U.S. political storm. And all these Democrats, we need a special prosecutor, blah, blah, blah. But they were praising Comey when he didn't indict Hillary. Remember that? Oh, yeah. But now that he's investigating Trump in this fake made-up Russia scandal, how dare Trump fire him? Never mind the fact that he basically did indict Hillary Clinton. Basically did indict Huma Abedin and her husband, Anthony Weiner, and said, but we're not going to do anything about all these crimes, espionage, uh, racketeering, to name a few. But we're not going to do anything. I mean, we have evidence that they did it, but uh, they didn't have criminal intent, right? That's what he said. So he's the judge, jury, prosecutor, and uh, not executioner, the uh, head of the FBI. Truly amazing. Trump abruptly axes... FBI's Comey in midst of Russia probe. And of course, the mainstream media is going off on this. 